So I want to discuss about what is the condition formatting column in Power BI desktop. So this option already we have discussed. This was introduced in uh, November 2017 release of uh, Power BI desktop new version. Okay. So you have to update your Power BI desktop. So if whenever you are getting any updates for your Power BI desktop from the Microsoft, you will get an option over here update needed for your power bi desktop okay right so what is the feature uh, they have introduced in uh, november 2017 release is the conditional formatting so earlier for example if you are taking the data in a table okay so this is my table and i want to take the data like uh, the product category name and uh, subcategory name and the product name okay so what is the sales amount for this product okay this is the information i have taken so now what i want to do i want to format this table data based on a condition so if the sales the total sales amount is uh, in between this value i want to display a particular color if the sales amount is uh, in between uh, some other values like a case when condition case when the total sales amount is uh, 0 to 20000 then i want to display a red color if it is uh, 20000 to 1 lakh i want to display yellow color if it is greater than 1 lakh, I want to display green color. So that is the condition I want to write down. So earlier we don't have that option based on the condition to display any colors for your data. Okay. So under the formatting, first I want to uh, make this bigger. So column headers also I want to make. Uh, okay. English product category name, subcategory name, product name, total sales amount. So now come to this uh, conditional formatting. So there are uh, three options we have. Background color. So what exactly this background color will do? It will format the sales with the color based on their values. So each row, for each row if you want to change the background color based on the condition, based on the value it is satisfying you can use this option you can enable it okay and click on the advanced controls or else you can do like this and what column you want to write down this condition this column total sales amount basis click over here go to conditional format the same three options you are getting from here also if you want to write down that uh, condition you can go over here and click over so I want to select the background color scales. Okay. The next one is font color. So whatever the characters, the fonts you are using, if you want to change only the font color, you can use that one instead of changing the background color. So what is this data boss? We'll discuss about this data boss later. First, I want to write, uh, write down a condition to change the background color. So click on that background color. So the condition we are going to write down based on this total sales amount. Okay. So we just check this color by rules. If you are not checking this one by default, there are two options over here. Okay. So if it is the lowest value, it is going to take this color. If it is the highest value, it is going to take this one. Okay. For example, the maximum value I have 1 lakh. The minimum value I have uh, 2000 for 2000 completely it will take this data color and for 1 lakh it will take the this color so in between the values so based on this uh, diversing so if it is near to 2000 then it will take uh, uh, the saturation level of the color will take some it's not a thick this color it will reduce the color uh, based on the value if it is near to 1 lakh it will take uh, 
very light blue color whatever the green color or light blue color whatever you are selecting over here okay no i don't want to take like that so what i want to do okay so if you are selecting this default value how the color will change we'll, we'll see over here so i think we have it select click over here condition formatting background color and uh, sorry click okay see this is coming like this background color so whenever it is uh, equal to less value then it is taking full color whenever it is the maximum value it is taking this color so whenever it is a mid of the value near to the max or small value minimum value the color is something uh, bit light color it is taking okay so instead of uh, taking the max min kind of thing what i want to do i want to write down a condition okay conditional formatting background color so color by the rules what is the rule you want to implement is greater than or equal to for example the value is in between uh, 1 2 and uh, this is i want to make it 30000 okay so then i want to make this red color and the second rule if it is uh, 30000 to 1 lakh okay then the next one is only just greater than uh, greater than 1 lakh okay and what is this please check the logic of this rule is okay uh, is means uh, it will it, it will try to find out the exact value so i want to take this is greater than 1 lakh greater than or equal to 1 lakh and uh, is less than or equal to so i will try to take the max value whatever we have okay click ok right see the condition whenever it is satisfying i think the color what we have taken uh, for all uh, yeah we have taken the same value i will take yellow color over here and i will take uh, a bit uh, this color i will select click ok see based on the condition it is changing the values over here so that is the background completely the background value it will change the based on the condition instead of the background i want to change only font colors okay so you can add the colors uh, three rules one two thirty thousand and uh, the next rule is thirty thousand to one lakh and uh, the third rule is one lakh to the mags whatever you can do okay the colors i want to make here it is a black color here it is uh, this color and this one you can make it yellow color click ok see the font color will change okay right the third option is conditional formatting data parse this is a very beautiful option so here what will happen in ssrs we can find out uh, the mini charts data bars and gauges in a particular table for each row if you want to do some analysis you can use the data bars okay for example this total sales amount if you are clicking on the show bar only okay show bar only the minimum value and the highest value so if the bar is positive it will take this color if it is negative this it will take that color so click ok 
see here what happened so i will remove the formatting colors whatever remove uh, background color scale okay and remove font color scale okay see what happened here it is displaying the graph it is a column right so this is uh, displaying based on the total sales amount this is displaying based on the total sales amount if it is more positive value it will take this value if it is the negative value it will take this value for example if you want to specify the number okay if the minimum number i want to take uh, a thousand and maximum value i want to take a uh, one lakh okay so click okay so when it is going to display this bar okay when it is going to Ram, yeah. can you can you add data column also beside that one data column uh, the number numbers one more new column one with, uh, okay so see you can show within the same column the bar as well the data you can show so you know oh. 